Hey guys, what's going on? I know a lot of people hate Windows 8 and 8.1 because it doesn't have the original start menu that Windows 7 or Vista had. Um, in this video tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to get a really cool uh, Windows 8 start button though. And it's going to have the option of you uh, choosing where uh, where your Windows key would like to go on your keyboard. So if you press the Windows key, instead of it going to the tiles, it's going to be able to go to the original start button and um, I wouldn't say it's original but it does look pretty similar and it is pretty cool so um, the very first thing we're gonna do is the installation process what you're gonna do is make sure you're logged into a Microsoft account on your computer because that's the only way you're gonna be able to get this um, from the store uh, you're gonna go to your tiles and then you're gonna look for the store so after you click the store Go to the search and type in Windows 8 Start Button. You're going to see all these other start buttons. Ignore all the other ones. The ones we're looking for is Pokey Start Menu. The reason being is that these other start buttons have uh, advertisements and all that junk. And uh, we just want a nice, clean, cool looking Windows 8 Start Button. So what we're going to do is click Pokey Start Menu. And then you're going to click Get App from a pub from Publisher. So you're going to see this window pop up, and you're just going to click Free Download. And then uh, wherever it downloads to, just uh, save it and click Run. Uh, proceed with the installation. And uh, hold on, let me get back to my desktop. Uh, Windows key, and then Desktop. And uh, you will see this little house after you complete the installation. That house is your Start button. Now, when I press Alt, it's going to be able to go to the start button of my choice. So I made it go to the uh, start button that I downloaded. And th the way I do that is uh, open up the start button and go to your uh, go to the top right, and you're going to see a little arrow, and that is your settings. And then you're going to be able to see uh, light theme or dark theme. Uh, but before that, go to uh, the bottom where it says Open Start Menu when I press the Windows key. Check that off and make sure uh, go to Desktop instead of Start when I sign in is also checked. Because it is just much easier when you go to your desktop instead of going to the tiles. Uh, over here, you're going to see on the top right of the uh, menu bar, you're going to see Options. Um, to add to the sidebar. So if you want to add your downloads, just check downloads and the downloads folder will appear right here. Uh, last thing, uh, make sure you click save if you're going to be doing any customizations. Uh, last thing I want to talk to you guys about is the tiles you see here. These are just shortcuts to anything you want. You could just type in, uh, for instance, uh, you see here that I have uninstall a program for my control panel. That will automatically lead me to my control panel to uninstall a program. Uh, the way you do that is you just click uninstall. And it's going to look through your applications first, and then it's going to look through your control panel, and then it's going to look through the websites. And these will just be shortcuts to websites. Uh, anything that you put, put a star next to is going to appear in your favorites, and this would be considered your favorites. So uh, if you guys want like YouTube on there, it's going to look through your applications. I already have it installed. It might ask you to install it. And these applications belong to the makers of who made this Windows 8 start button. But it's actually uh, really cool. Let me show you. So YouTube uh, application popped up. And then you can uh, choose if you want to sign in, all that stuff. So it's kind of like... Um, Kind of like using it in the browser, but not really because it doesn't have the navigation bar. Um, let me see here. Type in YouTube, and uh, like I said, it's going to look through your applications first, and then it's going to look through any web links. So if you put a star next to YouTube here where it says web, um, it's going to lead you to the actual website, and that's just a shortcut to the website. So have fun with this, guys. It's really fun, and uh, 
It's really cool looking too. So enjoy guys. Peace.